Hello everybody, let me know who's here, where you're from, what you're up to today. Welcome. Hi Louisa, I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. All right, let me switch to my desk here. Oops, a little bit of a glare there. I'll just wait and see if a few more people join us. Come on in. I'm sorry, it's just my desk today. I um, I did a software update and I couldn't get my phone to connect. And then I real we realized it was our home internet. And, um, oh, I don't know, I just had some <laughs> had a few technical issues this morning, so... I was a bit um, disorganized, but it seems the story of my life at the moment. Hi, Nidra. Yes, it has been a while, Louisa, since you've watched, so I'm glad you're here. And I have a fun card today. Um, so we're going to be, I'll, I'll go ahead and get started. Welcome, everyone. Great to see you all today. And if you're watching the replay, thanks so much for joining me. So, um... Today we're going to be making a card using this bundle and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in, the, in a moment and show you the card. But a few other things before I get started because there's quite a lot going on with stamping up at the moment. Um, so I, I tried to, I tried to, there's a way that you can um, put a, a screen up on the software so that I, I don't have to print out stuff and could just show you it on, on the screen. But I was, having, again, I was having trouble with that today. So I did print off a few things and I know the quality is not that great, but we do have some, if you're a demonstrator, we have some new online exclusives that are available for pre-order today um, or this month, and then they'll be available for customers next month. And um, in conjunction with that, I wanted to tell you about a great new starter kit special that is a really great one. Um, and you can actually include these exclusives into that starter kit. So normally for $99, you can get the um, starter kit and choose $125 worth of products um, and free shipping. But right now this month, because it's stamping up's 35th anniversary, um, they are offering two different options. You can get 35% off and get all the $125 worth of products for $64.35, $64. .35, $64. Or you can get 35% more in your starter kit and get $168 worth of products for just $99 plus tax and no shipping. So that's a really good deal at the moment and it's the best one I've seen for a little while. And on top of that, you'll automatically be registered to attend our On Stage at Home, which is an online event in um, November. It's on November 11th and it's a one-day um, stamping event. Uh, Lots of lots of stamping demonstrations and sneak peeks from the new catalog and all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, so if you'd like more information, send me a message about that. It's um, I'd love you to be join my team, the Groovy Stampers. We um, we have um, hi Christine. Um, we uh, you know when you ask people what makes them stay with Stampin' Up or why they what they like best, most of them say it's the community and um, the stamping with friends, all the great friendships they've made. And that's definitely true for me. I have an amazing team called the Groovy Stampers, and we're just a really close-knit bunch. Um, and we have our own Facebook group, and we have a team meeting once a month where we share our projects and um, do a little bit of training and just have a, a good time. We do make it. I provide a, um, a reduced-price class for them all once a month, which we do online. And um, we just have a lot of fun. You get to see new products in advance early. There's just lots of lots of benefits, a discount, of course. But um, anyway, send me a message if you'd like more information or put in the comments and I'd be I would love to chat with you more about it. Um, but the online exclusives, there's some um, um, this paper is beautiful. Look at this paper. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a six by six stack and it's got all this um, lovely watercolor scenes. And uh, let's see who else just joined. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? Good to see you. Um, yeah, it's got um, beautiful double-sided paper. And 
Oh, and this is our new, again, not very good print quality, sorry, but we have a new kit called um, Rustic Christmas Countdown. And it's cute little, I don't know if you can see, but it's cute little bags with, um, uh, you can, they've got little clothespins on each of them. And there's one for each day um, leading up to the, uh, leading up to Christmas Day. So these would be really fun to put on your tree or um, leave for a co-worker or for your kids. Um, you could make a banner with them and you can fill them with little goodies. They're little tiny bags that you can fill. So this is a non-stamping kit. I believe it's $19. These are all the things you get in it. Um, so I'm going to be placing an order today for my online exclusives and my new kit. It's called a Rustic Christmas Countdown. Um, let's see what else. World Card Making Day is this Saturday. So I will be sending out, that's going to be really fun. It's Saturday afternoon. It's three hours. And it'll be like a mini version of the um, event in November. So there'll be stamping up employees and top demonstrators doing um, amazing project demonstrations. And we can stamp along or you can just watch. Um, again, there might be some sneak peeks from the upcoming catalogue. I'm not sure. Um, but there's no cost to join. You can join and craft along or you can just watch. And I will be emailing out a link for that. If you haven't already registered, I'll be emailing a link um, as soon as Stamping Up sends us out that out to us. So if you're not in my email list, for sure, um, comment that you'd like me to add you. Send me a message or put your email address in the comments. Um, if you don't want to do that, then message me for sure. And I'll add you to my email list so you can get that link. Cause it's completely free and it'll be um, really fun to watch. Um, all right, so that's lots of good stuff happening right now with Stamping Up. Um, let's talk about what we're going to do today. So I was in Joanne's, um, which is, I'm sure you have Joanne's. Do you have Joanne's by you? It's a craft store. And they had these cute boxes. They had this one, and then they had um, this one. Actually, this is the one that caught my eye to start with. Isn't, that pre isn't this pretty? Um, and lovely inside. Oh, actually, the inside of this, I think, is the same as this one. I hadn't even noticed that before. I think it's very similar anyway. Um, but um, anyway, isn't that pretty? Um, I'm just a sucker for pretty boxes, and these were sixty percent off too. So this was fourteen ninety nine, and then sixty percent off. So I don't know how much that is, but um, but so anyway, this remind these reminded me, of course, of this reminded me of the autumn leaves bundle that we have, and then this reminded me of the masks we have of the sunflowers. Now I. So I, my first thought was, oh, I'm going to make sunflower cards um, to show you. But the sunflower masks are back ordered right now. And I thought, well, that's kind of mean to make projects with the sunflowers and then um, you say, well, sorry, you can't order them right now. So anyway, they're coming back in stock next week. So next week I'm going to make projects um, inspired by this box. And actually I have a friend. Um, yeah, it's, um, I did get a bargain, didn't I, Christine? Um, I have a friend, um, and in fact, I was stamping with her last night. We watched The Voice together, and she knitted, and I made up a paper pumpkin kit, and we watched The Voice. But she absolutely loves sunflowers, and so I always get her something sunflower-related on her birthday, you know, her card with sunflowers on. So what I thought I might do, her birthday's November, oh, 13th or 17th, now my, no, I'm, I think 17th. But um, I thought, oh, I'm going to give her, I'm going to make a card to match and I'm going to put some goodies in here for her for her birthday. And I think she'll just love it. So I'm excited. I hadn't, didn't have that in mind when I bought it. I was going to keep it for myself. But now I'm thinking I'm going to give it away as a gift. So I'm going to do that next week. So be sure to come back for that. But this week, um, I'm going to make a card using the autumn leaves. So in my class the weekend before last, we made these beautiful cards. Um... And I was going to make one of these, um, but um, what I thought I would do actually is try this new technique that I, now I saw, oh, I forgot to look up her name, I'll have to post it afterwards, um, but um, I saw a card maker and she's not stamping up, um, she did this cool technique um, with um, using masking techniques and so I thought I wanted to I wanted to try it and I was thinking what wondering what I what stamp set I could use so I'm going to use the leaves so let me show you the card and this was my prototype and you can see I did a bit of a boo-boo on here but this is my card 
And it's kind of unusual because um, the images are, pla are white and the background is coloured. So it's kind of opposite. You can see I kind of made a boo-boo down here. I didn't get a good image, first of all, and I tried to redo it and I, and I missed a bit. So um, I'll try not to do that today. And I'm going to do a different colour variation today. So I looked at the colours in here and I thought the colours that went were um, soft sea foam, um, which is pretty close to the green, and then copper clay. This matches perfectly, I think. Oh, but pecan pie goes also, but I'm going to use copper. We're using copper clay, and then pretty peacock. Um, and now I I looked at lost lagoon, but it didn't quite um, go. So there's kind of this bluey green in here, and I think these three colours go really nicely. So those are the three colours I'm going to use today. So and as I said, I'm going to use um, the autumn leaves stamp set, although I'm actually only using the veins on the leaves and I'm using the dies too. Um, now, some other, if you don't have this stamp set, let me bring back the card a minute. Um, you could use another, you need a stamp set that, that, that has a, like is an outline um, image or what do they call it? Not that's not solid. So I pulled out some other ones that I thought would work too. Like you need images like this um, that are an outline would work um, and um, that you can fussy cut so that aren't too hard to fussy cut. So these, um, let's see, the tacos, some of these are a bit small, but you could use some of these, um, the Easter bunnies, these would work. Um, so this kind of thing, I thought this would be fun. I'm not sure this might be retired, but I kept it because I have beer drinkers in my family. Um, but the glasses would be easy to cut out. Um, so you could do it with any of these. Um, or the, um, the bird's eye view, these would work too. These would be cute. So anything like this that you can um, stamp and create a mask for easily. Um, and I'll show you more as we get into that. So you get the idea. So what I need to do is make some masks for the leaves and I'm going to use Stamping Up's um, masking paper. It comes in a pack like this, you get 12 sheets. So let me pull out a sheet. If you don't have masking, you really need some kind of masking paper. Um, I think post-it notes. The, the only other thing you could use is the post-it notes. I have some that are like square and they're sticky all over. Um, but a regular post-it note won't really work. It'll get, you know, it'll be hard to stick down. Um, so I'm going to cut this <coughs> a little bit. So I need masks for this large leaf and this maple leaf and the oak leaf. So the maple leaf I kind of measured ahead of time. Um, so I'm going to cut um, two and three. I'm going to cut two and three quarters. Actually, I'm going to do two pieces do two pieces because I need about four masks of each. Um, let's see, grab another one here. So I can cut them together because they're thin. So two and three quarters. And it doesn't have to be exact, just big enough to die cut them by about three. And so those will be for my um, maple leaves. I'm sorry about my light glaring there. And then, let's pull this down a bit. And then these ones will be about uh, two and a quarter inch square approximately. So we'll do about four of these. All right, so let me grab my Hi, Kristen. Good to see you. All right, so let me grab my um, baby boss here. Let's grab him, my plates. Now, ordinarily, I don't like to use dies for masking because you get this, um, I don't know if you can see, you get this um, border around the edge that I don't really want. If I was using an image like I was just showing you some of those stamp, stamp sets that had the outline around the edge. 
I wouldn't want to use a mask because I'd get that extra white border, which I don't want. I want the ink blending to go right up to the edge of the outline. But because I'm not actually using an outline stamp here, I'm just stamping the veins, it actually doesn't matter if I use the die because there's no outline. So I hope that, hope that makes sense. So I can use the die for this, which saves a little bit of time, although they wouldn't be too bad to fussy cut. And I'll show you a little trick that you can do if you need to fussy cut more than once, one at a time. So I'm grabbing my dies. So here's my maple and here's my oak leaf. <clears throat> and my plates. And when I was doing the trying this out yesterday, I actually die cut through all four at once. So let's try that. So if you were um, if you need if you were going to fussy cut, what you would do is you would stamp your image onto here first. And then you can actually, what I would do is put a little bit of washi tape or something to hold the four pieces together. And then you can cut um, three or four at once. And only the top one will be stamped. But that way you don't have to cut them all individually. Because the paper's so thin, you can go them through them all. Oops, this is just going to fit. So let's see if it'll go through all four. I'll give you just a, give this a whirl. my scissors to just cut this last bit. There you go. And then let's do the oak leaves. I'll do the same thing. I'll go back and forth maybe one more time with these. Okay, I'll, I'll know that they've gone through. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. All right, so let's put this away. dies away. All right. Okay. So the next thing is to lay out our card. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So I'm going to grab a couple of things. I'm going to use what I like to use. If you have a Stamparatus still, I'm sure lots of you do. Let's see. That will hopefully go away when I put my paper in there we go um, you can use this um, because what I like why I like it is because I can clean it off I'm going to be stamp ink blending and it's going to get onto here but I can just wipe it off afterwards if you don't have this you can use just grid paper um, but I like to do use something that has a grid on it because and I'll show you why because I'm going to be using um, using the grid to help me line things up so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've got some other tape. You could use a strip of masking, masking paper too, but I also have some of this mint tape and it's an inch wide, so it's perfect for this. I'm going to take a strip um, and just put it over the card, and this is going to be for the area where the sentiment goes. So I'm just going to line this up, um, um, like let's push this up a little bit. I'm going to line it up like an inch from the bottom. And then this tape is an inch wide too, like this. So that's from where my sentiment's going to go. Then I'm going to take my mask, my leaves. Now, this masking paper is very, very sticky when you first use it, um, and sometimes it can tear the paper when it when you pull it off. So what I'm going to do just to help with that is I'm going to grab my little um, embossing kit 
Um, this is the kit that comes with your embossing buddy, your tray, and the brush and the tweezers. And I've just tapped a little in, um, of the powder out into the tray. And then what I'm going to do, zoom back out a little bit so that you can see. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap my leaf into... Let's see, find the edge if you kind of flip it. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to tap this a little bit into the powder just to take off a little tiny bit of that stick. And then I'm just going to place one kind of where I think I'd like it, maybe about here. We'll do the oak leaf, the maple leaves first because those are the biggest. So I'm going to take another one. Again, the same thing, just tap it into here. And this is kind of a, it's a bit fiddly, a bit fiddly process, but I think it's a really cool result. And you can use these um, more than once if you're careful with them. So put that one there. And now we'll do, we'll make sure this is pressed down really well. And then we'll take a couple of oak leaves and put them in here. So I'll move this back over here now that you've seen what I'm doing. Zoom back in a little bit. So you can see my leaves, hopefully. Now let's grab a couple of these. Oak leaves. And we're just doing the same thing. Tap it off just a little bit. And then we'll put this one in here. So people are going to look at this card and go, how did she do that? Right? Because it's just unusual. I'm going to try sponging with um, pretty peacock on this one instead of the copper clay. Right, so let's see. Let's put this one like in a slightly different angle as the top one. Maybe. Um, Maybe like that. There we go. And then we'll put a couple more down the bottom. I might move this one out a bit. I might want just a little bit more white space. I seem to have less white space than on. Let's move it up a little bit. Well, that's much different. <laughs> Move this one back a little bit. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. I'm like overthinking this. All right, let's do the bottom ones. So I could have got away with three leaves. All right, tap, tap, tap to the powder. And then we'll do this one down here. one more oak leaf down here. My husband's making something that smells really good downstairs. He's making lunch or breakfast or something. I don't know what it is, but it sure smells good. <laughs> All right, then I'm just going to go around and make sure everything is stuck down really well. Oops the edges in particular and then I'm ready to start sponging so I'm gonna grab my so I'm gonna try pretty peacock this time I guess I need to stay over here because of my light so I've got uh, my blending brush and I happen to be using a little one but you can use a big one if you like now Oops. Okay, I'm staying down. It's the only trouble with the powder, you don't want to take off too much of the stick. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit of scrap paper here. Put 
under my ink pad so that I can tap off. So I'm going to load up my ink and I'm going to tap off a little bit and then I'm going to start on the leaves so that themselves so I don't get a, a big kind of splodge and then work off. This is going to be so pretty. And you can go as dark or as light as you like. So again, I'm starting kind of on the masks. And that way, um, I won't get kind of a big splodge on my cardstock. If you do, don't worry, because if you go back over, and by the time you get everything else on the card, it's going to look lovely and it will even out as it dries also so you can just go as light or as dark as you like let's do this bottom area oops that little piece still keeps wanting to come up fortunately it's over the other tape so i think we're okay I'm going to go a little bit darker in the top half. Well, I didn't start quite on the leaf there, and I got a little bit of a dark patch, but I think it'll be all right. And like I say, it will even out a little bit. Okay, so I think that is looking good. It looks a big hot mess at the moment, doesn't it? All right, so I think that's good. All right, close up my ink. Then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take off the masks yet because I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, splattering and if you don't want to do this you don't have to because I know it makes people nervous but what I've got is got my um, water brush and I've just got some water in it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze a little bit so it so I can see it's coming coming out and then I'm just gonna flick and this is going to give me some little Kind of, it's almost going to look like little raindrops in the background almost. It's going to look really pretty. So I'm just going to leave that for a minute. You can see it reacting. Can you see the water reacting? So I'll just leave that for a minute and then I'm going to take a paper towel. Paper towel. And so... And you can see, as you leave it, it gets a bit more pronounced. I'll do a little bit more down the bottom. Um, and then I'm just going to take a paper towel and dry it off a little bit. And you can see I've got some lovely kind of, lovely kind of speckles. Right, and then if you wanted to do more, you could. Now I'm going to take off the leaves, but I'm going to leave this um, strip on. Now this is this is where you need to be really careful. Try not to touch the white part with your fingers, just in case you have ink, like apparently I do. But this is the fun part, the reveal. This is going to be so cool. And again, you can you can reuse these a couple of times, and then we'll take this one. So I love to do techniques like this. I don't know about you, but it's just fun. Oops, I got a little little blip there. I don't know what happened, but that's right. So 
take them off really carefully. If you want the water speckles, um, you probably could do the water speckles once you've taken the masks off because I don't actually think they would show on the white areas. They would just dry again. And there's the last one. You could also do this on vanilla paper, but the box to me was more white than vanilla. Okay, now I'm going to take this off here because... And the nice thing is the masking, this masking paper holds the cardstock down to the stamparatus. Then I can just take my paper towel and kind of, I can take a wet one a little bit later and just clean off. Or actually, I can take my chamois. There we go. Wipe off all my ink. All right, now I'm going to bring in this piece here and I can do my... Um, stamping so this time I'm so on this one I did copper clay and pretty peacock for the veins so I think I'll do copper clay for the veins and we'll see how that looks so I need my stamps so I've got my uh, veins for my um, maple now, I don't want the, the stem, so I'm going to just kind of ink up the leaf, the little bit of the stem, and then what I do is I just do this with my finger <laughs> to get the ink off the stem. And then, let me see, I have to stand up here. I'm just going to line up. down a bit because I can't see what I'm doing. Like I say, be really careful about touching the white areas with your um, fingers just in case you have ink. You could use a like a baby wipe here or something. If you don't want to do use your fingers, <laughs> let's do this one right here. I'm going to turn my page. And actually, I guess you can keep a bit of the stem. Right? Maybe I can draw that in with a marker. And this one, it's not going to matter because I'm going off the page anyway. see all right now let's do the oak leaf and I don't have to worry about the extra stem here because they're all actually going off the page See if I can get my copper clay marker just to fill in those. Um... my marker but I see if I can fix that later before I take pictures all right so that part's done now now there's one more thing I want to do let's take this off this is where our sentiment's gonna go let's start this in so what do you think so far see I can't see my comments I've got them covered up oh hi Cindy oh there's all kinds of people hi Masky Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kristen. Yeah, it's a little bit different, isn't it? So I'll take this piece off.
Now I'm going to add a little line. Um, let me show you on this one. I'm going to add a little line. So how I did that is I'm going to take another piece of this that's about the same length as before. And I'm going to I'm actually going to do a little mark. We'll see why. I'm going to cut it up in the middle. And then I'm going to take the straight edge, which is where I've got the crosses, and I'm going to line it up with that, white, that edge there, and then I'm just going to move down just a touch. And then I'm going to take my other straight edge, not where I cut, and I'm going to do a little gap there. And then let's see, what color shall I sponge this? I did soft sea, let's do soft sea foam, that's what I did before. Now the reason I didn't use that other strip and just cut it in half is because it had a lot of um, the dark um, pretty peacock ink and um, it could transfer off the tape um, as this is a lighter colour. So let's do some soft sea foam and I'm just going to go along here. This isn't going to be a real dark line, but it's just going to make a little kind of dividing divider between the images. Be careful that you don't get off the edge, you know, up or down. All right, that looks good. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom. So I'm going to line this up. Here and then just go up a touch and then just bring this one down. And do the same thing. So these are mask sponging, as you all know. I'm sure I've heard you've heard me say it's one of my favorite techniques, but masking is so much fun. And it's like magic when you do the, the reveal. You get this really crisp line. It's just really fun, I think. All right, that should do. All right, now we'll just do the sentiment. Okay. So if you're nervous about, so here's what we've got so far, and can you see those little kind of speckles? Isn't that cool? Um, if you're nervous about stamping right on here without using like a stamp positioner like your Stamper Artist, you could for sure. I'm just going to eyeball it because it's a photopolymer stamp, so it's fairly easy to do. Um, but what color ink shall we do? Shall we do copper clay? I think copper clay because that'll bring out the veins in the leaves. Oops, my stamp's falling off. Make sure that doesn't happen. That wouldn't be good, would it? It's hor it's <laughs> you really don't want to mess your card up after you spent all this time on it, do you? Okay, so I'm going to... Now we just have to mount, oh, I'm going to trim this just a little bit. So let me grab my trimmer. So this piece right now is, let me see, I think it's four by, it's four by five and a quarter. And I'm actually gonna trim it down to three and three quarters. So let's see, I'll take a little bit off. Um, I should have done it before I did the sentiment and I forgot. So we'll take it off this edge. And we'll take it off the top by five. But you could do whatever 
whatever size panel you want, obviously. Um, let's zoom back in. All right, then I've got some various combinations of. So let's decide what color. So let's see, this one I did a pretty peacock base and a saucy foam mat. So let's see what would look nice here. So what about, what about this? That would look pretty, wouldn't it? Or we could do saucy foam and then I think I like the other way around. What do you think? Like copper clay mat and then a soft sea foam base. Do you like that? Um, I think I want to stay away from the pretty peacock because we've got quite a lot of that on here. So I think I'll do that. So I'm going to cut my copper clay down to one eighth of an inch bigger. So that will be 3.75 three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Is that right? Five and an eighth, yeah, I think so. Let's check. Yes, so that's that. So let's attach this into here. See. Love the colours. Thank you, yeah. Um, they are really pretty, aren't they? Not necessarily what we think of doing, but that's why it's fun to get inspiration from things that you see when you're out and about. Sometimes I'll be inspired by somebody's clothes, you know, a pretty shirt or something, blouse, or sometimes like curtains or something like that. So it's kind of fun to look around and Oops, I'm a bit crooked there. All right, that's that layer. And then let's put this onto here. Ooh, I think that's pretty. So do you think this is something you you will try, or is it a little too fussy? You know, <laughs> um, I just think it's fun and people will go, how did she do that? How did she get white leaves and then the color? All right, so now let's just add the last touch. As you can see, I've got some little copper things on here. So how I did that was with this um, metallic enamel effects. This comes in three colors, in copper, gold, and silver. So I use the copper, so let's add a little and you want to definitely try this first before you actually put it on your card okay that's coming out all right and then we're just going to kind of go for it so i'm going to just do and then you want to set this aside to dry for a couple of hours you're just going to do little dots kind of just filling in the empty spaces Let's do a couple in here. I think that's probably enough. And then these are self, they'll just self level. Let's get the cap on. There's our card. And these will, yeah, these you want to just set this aside and it'll take a couple of hours to dry. So here's the two cards. Now, I'll let you into a little secret. These ones um, on the left, I did actually fussy cut. I don't know if you can see, but the images are a little bit smaller. So this side, I fussy cut the images and then I suddenly realized, you know what? I can use the dies because I'm not going to have an outline. So these ones are using the dies and you can see the images are just a touch bigger and then these ones are fussy cut. So it's not a whole lot of difference. I've just got, um, you know, a 
a little bit more, um, a little less uh, of the, the sponging on this one. But, um, and again, you could you, you can use these probably once or twice more um, before they're, you know, before they'll lose their stick and they'll start coming up and they'll get very inky too. But um, anyway, so what do you think? Is this something that you think you would try? Let me know. <laughs> um, and let me know if you like the color. So here's the box um, again that inspired me. And um, let me zoom out in that way. I can fit more in here. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Thank you, Jeannie. Nedra says, yes, we'll definitely try. Great. Louisa says she'll try too. So here's the other three that we made in class. And, um, and then here's the box. You can see just a little bit. Have to be careful of my little... So anyway, I hope you like that. Um, so don't forget all about the other fun stuff that's going on with Stampin' Up. Um, there's my new host code up here, my October host code up the top here. Whoop. Um, when you place your order. And um, as I said, next week I'm going to do something with the sunflower box. So I'm looking forward to that. Don't forget also to message me. Um, if you'd like to get on my, or put in the comments, if you'd like to be on my email list so that you can get the email about World Card, my card Making Day. You don't want to miss that. It's a free event and it's going to be lots of fun. So anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you have a great, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will be back next week. Bye for now, everyone.